Well, hello there, chums. As I, Captain Steve, and yep, I'm just getting ready for my broadcast. So, yep, I have been given a mysterious ship location. So, I'm going to go check that out in a sec. I'm just going to get my live chat up on the screen. Sorry, a little bit of a rush because I'm on my lunch break, so I only get a short period of time to actually stream on lunch. So, let me just uh, jump into YouTube. Sorry, I should have got this ready beforehand. But anyway, I'll make my way to the portal while we're waiting. Oh, and um, if you haven't seen this base before, this is my Beetleman Beetle Base! Oh, I'm going the wrong way to the portal. Right, I came out of its backside, not out of its head. Out of its mouth, I should say. So, yep, yeah, the portal is where his little antennae are pointing, so I'm going this way. Lovely. Oh, I'm in the crater. Fudge! Fudging craters. Right, okay, let's head on over to the portal. And hopefully, we're all going to be good. Sweet! Right, well, I have enabled the live chat just to make sure that it's working. Could somebody just type something? Just to let me know it's definitely working. It should appear in the middle, right underneath where my head is, rather than on top of my head, because I had problems the other day. And also, I had problems with my audio the other day. Hopefully, you can hear me. Um, let me know if you can hear me. That would be a nice one. Gary, hello there. Yeah, good morning. Well, thank you very much for putting that up. And we've got Beeble Bum saying hi. Well, hello there. Awesome. Is my audio good, people? Hello, Captain Chad. Hi, nice one. Nice one, Paul Towers. Thanking you. And we've got my ammo in the house. Hello there, my ammo. So, yep, yeah, Mr. Damash Smash has hit me up with a code. And I'm going to fly, fly on over. Audio is perfect. Well, thanking you. Awesome, Levi Rivers. Uh, Captain Steve Rocks. Well, thank you, Levi. Cody Barnes. Morning uh, from the US, mate. Oh, sweet. Cool. But, yeah, I guess it's very early morning. Depending on where you are in the States, that is. I need a haircut. Just ignore the hair. Right, okay, here we go. Let's, uh, let's do this. However, all the hairdressers, again, because of lockdown rules, they're all blinking closed, aren't they? Okay, did you download? Yes, I have. I have. I've got it. This is, It's running now, but there wasn't that many patch notes in there. It does fix the HDR, but I didn't turn the HDR on, mainly because I've just got all this looking okay. I say this looking okay. My face never looks okay. It looks pretty red, doesn't it, at the moment? I don't know why it's flashing like that either. That's a bit weird. Okay, unless it's something to do with me recording or something, yeah, who knows, it's a very stroby type effect, isn't it? I'm still getting used to all this streaming stuff on my PS4 5. Okay, right, here we go, activate portal and portal, right, I need my code, let me grab my phone, here we go, code him and code code, there we are, okay, there's a lot of doubles in this one, I like this code, okay, so we've got ourselves a reflection or tiki face, we've got ourselves a sunset or jalapage, Double rocket, double rocket. This is the PlayStation 5 camera. It's supposedly H, H, HR, um, HD or something, I don't know. Right, so I'm going to put in a triangle, even and triforce, and a boat, even boat face, or a ship. Oh, perhaps you have the fluorescent light nearby, Steve. I do. I have Christmas tree. Let me turn off the Christmas tree. Goodbye, Christmas tree. I've gone even redder now. What the fudge is that? I have got my laptops on because I'm working. Um, yeah, I'm not usually this red. That's Maybe it's a reflection from my top or something. I don't know. But okay, we'll just press on. We'll pretend that I don't look like a gooseberry. Right, okay, so double triangular thingy. We'll take that, double triangular thingy. We've got ourselves a rocket. Pow! Another triangle, double, one of those triforces, and a rocket. Lovely. Let's go. The flickering is gone though. Yes, you cured that, Mr. Beeble. Good suggestion. Thanking you. Lovely jubbly. So here you go. Gary Lyle. Hairdressers are closed, but you can still buy pencils from W.H. Smith's. Yeah. Doesn't make sense, does it? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense at all. You can still go to the opticians as well. Uh, funny enough, a lot of them are still open. Uh, perhaps you have a fluorescent light nearby. I I think because I create made, last time I made this see through, didn't I? So you could see the background and it was too faded. So oh, what I've done is because I made it see through, I actually increased the, the um, oh, what is it? Not the brightness, the contrast. I increased the contrast. And uh, yeah, it seems to have made me look a little bit red. Yeah, we've got that going on now. Okay. Hey, my ammo. Well, hello there, my ammo. Captain and Chad. Well, hello. Let's grab this mouse over here. I might make it a bit freaking easier, might it? Cody Barnes, can you just say banana for me? Banana Rama! Heck yes, there you go, banana. N Normag Gaming, hey, just watched one of your old videos about freighters. Oh, nice! 
I've got a few on freighters. If it's the freighter base one, that's my most popular video for some reason. It's freaking mind blowing. Out of all the videos I've done, that one is that I don't get the Google algorithm. If I did, I'd be a freaking minted though, wouldn't I? So there we are. Cool. Right, so we have now arrived. I do not know what this mysteri mysterious ship looks like. So Damash Smash, another content creator and you know, No Man's Sky fan, sent me this code and said, Captain Steve, you've got to see the ship that comes in, in this system. Oh, Inside Vortex is in. Well, hello there, Inside Vortex. Hello there. Camera looks clear. The red face is just from the um, eggnog. I wish. Okay. Here we go. Let's um, find a trading post. We'll go to a trading post and we'll see what comes in. Trading post. Where are you, Mr. Trading Post? There you are. We're somewhere over there. Let's go. Let's go. Pow, pow. Boom, boom. Go, go, go. Oh, it's on a red planet. Lovely. Got links in the house. Hello there, links. Yeah. Oh, we got Steve in the house. Hello, Steve. Oops, I just knocked a load of freaking wires everywhere. Fun times. Uh, teach me to be awesome at karate. Right, so we've got Scottish Rod in the house. Hello there, Scottish Rod. Salute to Mondo. Hi, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> That's my armor. Nice. Beeble. Hey, shush, Scottish. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think Scottish Rod... I think you may have um, found this in collusion with Mr. Dimash. I think this is something you guys found together. I'm not sure, but um, let's land and let's see what happens. Is it actually going to land on a landing pad? It is. Yes. Sweet. Nice. Okay, well, let's have a look, see what ship's flying. Now, I don't know what this ship is, and everybody's taste is different. So this awesome ship might arrive, and I'd be like, meh, not that awesome. We, 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 we shall see. There is a um, comms ball over there as well. We'll go check that out a bit later on. I think Scottish Rod said that there's a base here or something, but I'm not seeing a base. I'm just seeing a comms ball. There's no base markers in this system. So, yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Okay, so we've got a lovely hauler there. That, that is quite a nice hauler. We've got ourselves quite a nice explorer as well. That's pretty cool. That's the same sort of colours as my dart frogs. Let's put the sun in the sky. So we've got this one down here, which is like got, I like the TIE Fighter wings. I'm liking the yellow and black and the blue. That is very much the same colour as my pets. I keep dart frogs. Tinctorius dendrobates. And we've also got this, which is very nice. This looks like it belongs in Gundam, doesn't it? That looks like a Gundam ship if I ever did see one. Okay, so what's that? The base did not appear. I've jumped to the portal. Oh, are you in the system, are you? Well, that's pretty cool. Let me turn on my multiplayer. So if people do want to jump in, they, they should be able to as well. If you want to come join us here and come watch ships land, you'll be more than welcome to. There we go. I've just um, enabled those. Let's go back into network and let's see if I can see view nearby players list. No, can't see any nearby players, but you might be able to find me ambiently. Okay. Well, we've got ourselves a fighter down there, which I, I wouldn't say that's special in any way, shape or form. Oh, look at that! That's a beautiful fighter! It's mine! <laughs> right eh? well, we'll see what else flies in. Okay, no, my, my Explorer has nothing on the sides. It does it not? I, I do quite like the little compact Explorers. They look pretty darn cute. They look like little shuttles. I've loaded up in, um, in creative mode, though. I'm in creative mode at the moment, Scottish Rod. That could be why I didn't see the base. I came here in creative mainly because I thought, well, if we're only ship hunting or ship watching, I might as well just come up in creative. And then I don't have to worry about storms or recharging my things, you know? So, yeah, that's probably why I'm not seeing a base, bud. Okay. So, if you was hoping to give me a mysterious ship code for me to come through the portal and get stuck in one of your bases, if you had set a Steve trap, ha! I escaped it yet again. Ha! Double thumbs up to me. If that's your plan, Scottish Rod, get bag. Yep. Scottish Rod finds an S class and needs to delete his save, right? <laughs> I don't think that's what. I don't know. The old dear. Okay, what have we got flying in now? We've got. Oh, my days! That explorer is appearing in this system without. With, with weird TIE fighter wings, with these wings, and without wings. I saw it on another landing pad earlier. We've got a shuttle that almost looks like a Sentinel craft. That looks almost identical to the shuttle that I've got in my normal save. That, that's fairly cool. I like the sort of rebel-esque type engines on this one. That's quite nice. It looks fairly similar to, like I say, the one I've got over in my um, normal save. Sometimes you see the odd cool shuttle. 
I don't like using cool shuttle in the same sentence though. It, it feels bad. I feel like I need to go wash my mouth out with soap now. Right, okay. So there we go. We've got ourselves a quite a nice barrel nose fighter there. But, you know, I like droid wing type fighters and things like that. So I have no idea. I was hoping Mr. Damash might be here to give us an indication if I actually see the ship. There we go. Okay, I'm, uh, I cool. Ah, it's normal. It's fallen flat. It was a message of love. Your owl system space station. Rod is ignoring us. Oh, the owl in this system. In the space station. You want me to go to the, the system space station? The owl system space station. Oh, what the fudge is he up? Okay, so let's go to discoveries. It's dash hand. Well, it's, you know, I'm, I'm, should I be in normal mode? Should I come here in normal mode? Let's go in here. Let's go in normal mode. Let's see what the freaking trap was. Let's uh, go back to the mode select and we'll go to normal mode. And I will come here in normal mode and we'll see what happens. Here we go. I don't think I'm going to enjoy this. I think they're going to trap me or something. But here we go. Let's uh, let's give it a shot anyhow. You know, this is my lunch break stream, people. So there we go. <laughs> tilly tum tilly tee. And let's go and have a look. See, let's go see what happens in normal mode. Right. Well, now I've got to get to a portal. Let's go to a portal. I thought I was just coming to look at a ship. I didn't know there was a base there or messages of awesomeness or anything like that. So next time, throw me a freaking bone. Okay, so we go. Let's go over here. And let's go this way. Okay, so 3.12 is not for PS4. Apparently not. Apparently it just contained hotfixes for Xbox Series X and S and also the PlayStation 5. So yeah, a bit of an odd one. Well, let's uh, go to my portal base in normal mode and we go activate the portal and we'll jump back to that system and we'll see what happens when I come through the portal. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to get trapped in some sort of dodgy Scottish rod trap. But we shall see. Okay. So I'll just play with friends, evil one. Scottish rod has gone slightly quiet now, hasn't he? I'm just getting slightly nervous. Okay, right. I'm half tempted to set up my second... Oh my days, that goes too fast. This chat... Since I've updated this, it's a pain in the neck. Okay, I'm half tempted to get my uh, second screen to play No Man's Sky during work. I just not play with friends then. <laughs> Scottish Rod, join me. I, I, Scottish Rod. Okay, if I go to network and I go to um, view friends list. Oh, okay, now it's working. Uh, okay. Um, All right. Um, view nearby friends. No. Right, okay, well, let's, um, yeah, let's go to mode select then. Yeah, whatever. If I go to mode select, multiplayer, I don't see any of my friends anymore in multiplayer. This is another, but this is something they said that they had fixed, but they haven't. If you send me a request right now from PlayStation 4 to join you, I don't get it. I have to invite you. It's knackered and I thought that's what this patch had just fixed it hasn't so that was quite a good little test but I'm going to jump back into normal mode now and I'm going to press on from where we left off just a moment ago luckily load times are freaking lickety split now so I'll be back there in a flash but I can't just join you anymore they have completely stuffed up multiplayer even more on next gen to previous gen it's it's not good I can invite you you can't invite me fun times okay so here we go Join me. New question. How do people chat globally, globally in No Man's Sky? With great difficulty. <laughs> That's another thing that you can't do. Because PlayStation only lets you really broadcast those people that are inside of your um, your chat. Uh, inside of your, you know, your, your, your party chat. So it's really difficult. Okay, Damash. I mean, I, I can hear people, um, but it won't let me stream them. So it makes it really difficult. Okay, where's my portal base in this system, in this one? Uh, portal, Scorpion portal, PVP modules. No, that's not the one. There you go. Portal nav turtle, that's the one I want. Let's go. It'd be nice if the actual photos did appear as well. Apparently that's in the patch notes too. That's annoying me a lot. It, it, it really isn't great, Mr. Scottish Rod. 
And if I'm if I don't join you, a lot of the time I'm not even going to see your base. I just went to ER's base that I went and viewed the other day when I was with ER, and I couldn't see all of it. When I went on my own, I couldn't hardly see any of it. It's um, this is far from being stable. Even though it's a lot smoother and it runs great, and I can now land and all my textures appear and half the other things that I've been whinging about. There's a new set of things for me to whinge about. And it's not just because I'm English and I like moaning or anything like that. I mean, that's part of it. Come on. But um, at the same time, um, there is still a heck of a lot of polish that needs adding. But it's expected, isn't it? With next gen and this whole cross play stuff, it, it can't be easy. I mean, they've got so many platforms now, including the Vive and all the, the VR platforms and everything. It must be a a headache and a half for them to actually work on getting patches out. Wrong frickin' side. Let's go this way. Cool. Yeah, since next gen update, I've had giant ships bugs landing on planets. Multi yes, yeah, there, there is a there is a there's a lot of bugs. I saw one that KJ put on Twitter um, the other day. If you go to my um, channel wall, it's on there, I think. Um, but yeah, she um, she encountered a massive explorer that was wedged into the side of a, a station. It was about half the size of the station. It was massive. Okay, let's do this. Mr. Scottish Rod, do you have a slight hint for me in what sort of ship I am looking for? Or will I just blatantly know it as soon as I see it? Is it going to be obvious? All right, let's get all this charged up. So much easier and creative. You just uh, tap it once. Now you've got to drag things to things. It's um, really finicky. And I wish that once you had activated a portal once, the whole network just stayed activated the whole time. Because, I mean, what a, what a freaking mess of resources there. Okay, right, here we go. Okay, I thought multiplayer was just me. Have friends over the past few days. Yeah, no, there, there's been... We tried doing some missions together, and it kept desyncing us as well. When people chat while they're in the anomaly, for example, not when they give you something, I've seen people say hi, hello, or type. I don't think you can type on console. I mean, I haven't got one of those little nimbly keyboards, but I don't see a way to do it, even if it was just with, you know, typing out the letters one at a time. Oh, I'm going to need that code again, aren't I? Big Pidge is in the house. Hello there, Big Pidge. Righto. So here we go. Let's um, stick in all of these. So I want a reflection. I want ourselves a sunset or jalafash. I want ourselves a double rocket. And I want, um, yeah, oh, if you want to see that big ship bug, you know, the giant explorer, as well as it being on my Twitter page, it's obviously on KJ's um, YouTube channel as well. And while you're there, just hit the sub button, should like that. Right, there we go, hit that. So, yeah, if you haven't seen the giant ship bug, that's probably a real good prime example, to be honest. Double Triforce, double Triforce, a rocket team and rocket, lovely. Another double Triforce, followed by a rocket, lovely. Very cool code, that one, I like that one. You can almost commit that one to memory. Okay, nice one. When you get here, I'll tell you. Okay, all right, well, hopefully I'm going to see you ambiently. I've got all my multiplayer settings on. Hopefully I'll see you at the opposite side of this portal. Did anyone try to host a session? Then see if you're visible to friends. No, I haven't tried that one, Mr. Beeble. No, no. But uh, it works backwards. PlayStation 5, if I sent an invite out to him, he can join me straight away. It must be this text-to-speech text option in your network settings. Oh, I can... I can no, um, the text-to-speech, all that... Yeah, that just puts text over to the left-hand side. So if you go into uh, network and you turn chat... Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Voice chat. I can, ch if I change that to enabled, I can hear everybody, but I can't broadcast what they're saying. None of you would be able to hear them what they're saying. Um, but then, if I have that on, it's an all or nothing thing. So it's everybody in like the Nexus. It's not just people in my group. So you're going to hear all sorts of stuff going on. So I disable that. But if you turn on that speech to text, if they're talking you get it appear at the side and it shows you what they've said or it tries to translate what they've said but again it, it just it just fills my screen with garbage if I do it while I'm streaming and yeah odd words that maybe shouldn't be there but, okay right here we go good morning from Canada says Morgan Holmes well good morning Morgan Holmes uh, we got to my yeah must be text to speech higher page Scottish Roger the owl of dreams in the space station Okay, so I'm going to go to the space station. Let's go to the space station. 
How's the PS5? Is this the new interface chat you're using? It, it is indeed, yes. Oh, there we go. We've got an invite from Scottish Rod. Nice one. He is now in my group. The only thing is, now for you guys to hear him, I'd have to join him in a party chat. So, unless I do that, you're probably not going to hear him. I don't think he'd get the bouncing blue screen anymore. So I go to the station and I see if I can invite him into a party chat. The only thing is, I haven't got my headphones plugged in because I didn't know I'd be hooking up with him. So there's no real point because I won't be able to hear him. Yeah, and the mic levels are different. For this mic and my headset mic, very different. And the headset mic is very tinny now. For whatever reason, they've changed some firmware or something in the controller, but the mic quality in my old headset is really tinny. So I've now got this mic here. This one is Mossotech, and it's a Lapel Leve Levelier microphone. It's, it's got gold core in it and stuff. It was about 30 quid, uh, which is quite expensive for a Lapel mic. However, I've just ordered one by a company called Rode, R-O-D-E and they're top of the range ones. It's, it's cost me a freaking arm and a leg, and I'm hoping it's gonna be infinitely better than this one, but we, we, we shall see. Okay, the base still did not appear. No, base did not appear, I told you it wouldn't. Um, yeah, it, yeah, don't worry about the invite. No, uh, okay, so I'll wait for this owl of dreams. Do I have to do a reload? Uh, let's do a reload, let's see if that, that brings it in. As a, maybe it's a first wave or something. Right, there we go, reloaded, resaved. Let's do a reload, sweet. Let's do a reload of autosave, autosave just there. Reload, confirm. Yeah, hi Steve mate and chat. What the fudge? Oh, cause I was in a freaking group. Okay, right, here we go, let's do that again then, normal. Okay, right, okay, brilliant. Hi Steve mate, I see that the updates just dropped but nothing for PS4, it's dead. It, it was just to fix some of the next-gen type stuff, so it's that's kind of how it is. Right, okay, so here we go. Discoveries. I mean, they're not going to put out a previous-gen one if, it, if it's not... Um, I think this is the right system. Sweet. Really roll. Hope you're well this Wednesday. Yeah, so Mr. Scottish Rod, your base of trappiness has been thwarted yet again. I've escaped your hand of evil. Nice one. Third wave. Okay, well, let's uh, hang about for the third wave and we'll see if it comes in. Nice. Veritas Velas. Multiplayer still not working for me. Shows none of my friends online. Yeah, it really doesn't. Mo mo road microphones are tip top. Fan thank Christ. Somebody else knows. A top notch. Nice one. Thank you. Can someone please give me an answer? Are we able to text chat in game via No Man's Sky? Why don't you just turn the setting on and find out? You know, it's, it's not. You just. Turn it on, down there, text-to-speech enabled. But I'm not in multiplayer now, or I haven't got somebody in my group. But if I did, everything would appear over on the, the left-hand side. It's, it's pretty damn simple, to be fair. But yeah, it's just text-to-speech. So when somebody speaks, it puts what they've said in text down the side. Right, okay, we've got the Iconodge of Wind. We've got the Witchy of Destruction. We've got the favourite Yatogig, or whatever that was. What's this over here? We've got the Tranquil Hand. You can type text on PC. I don't know about console. Yeah, you can get these little keyboard attachments for your joypad. I don't have one. Um, yet, yeah, you cannot type text in No Man's Sky chat if you're on console. Nice one. Thank you, Beeble. The mug came yesterday captain St oh nice perfect condition input pictures in discord oh nice voodoo roll apart from i never go on my own discord um I, well, I do once a month roughly just hit a few likes to a few images maybe that's about all i do on there i i don't i'm not a fan of discord i see too much politics going on in discord and too many disputes i only added a discord because people wanted me to have a discord for places for them to all interact with each other so forgive me i'm just not a discord person right oh what else we got? Random question, sir. If you have ever played the game Spore, what would your thoughts be on adding similar Amino Cargo systems to No Man's Sky? Just curious. Oh, I would love it. Oh, what's this? Is that it? The Spider? No, that's 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 Scottish Rod's Spider. Here you go. Look, if I go talk to Scottish Rod, if he's got his microphone plugged in, where is he? I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. Let's just invite him to my game. Let's have a look. Nearby players, view nearby player list, 
Scottish Rod invite to group. So if Mr. Scottish Rod has now got his headset plugged in, if he starts talking, you won't be able to hear his audio. Um, I don't think I will be able to. But we should see text start appearing down at the left-hand side of the screen. And uh, yeah, but he might not have his microphone with him. I love that ship, Scottish Rod. Cool colours. It is a quite nice ship, the one that you've got there, Mr. Rod. Very cool. It looks a little bit like the one I got the other day, but um, mine's not a dragster type one. Okay, the Iconog of Wind. We've got the Wachi of Destruction. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, nothing coming through as yet. Hey, add this to the video. If friends are in the same platform, they can invite and join each other, but you can't. That chat just goes too freaking fast. That's just really annoying. What's your thoughts on adding similar animal cargo? Yeah, the whole. F it, it, yeah, imagine if you could get an egg and rear that egg and hatch it and make your own creatures. That'd be really cool. And upload them to a discovery server. Maybe on planets with no fauna. That's a giant freaking ship. Because we've got Mr. Scottish Rod in my group, we're now going to get this happen, which is a bug that I really thought they would have fixed. But no, no, they haven't. Okay, so all the ships are now coming in massive. Brilliant. Okay, fantastic. So, there's almost too many bugs now, Chums, to even consider playing multiplayer. I mean, look at that. This, this sucks. Okay, brilliant. I can't see for Toffee now. Right, okay, I'm just going to exit multi. I'm going to turn networking off. I'm going to get Mr. Scottish Rod is going to vanish. There we go. And then the ships, now that this is off, will fly in in normal size. So there you go, multiplayer, for now, I'm not even going to entertain it. It's just too busy, it's just too buggy. Okay, how can you enable speech to text, but others need to enable it as well to see your text? Oh, okay, maybe this is it, the Owl of Dreams, this is the one. Okay, so it looks like the El Anvil of Destiny apart from it's just got a top fin, fin to it. So this is the uh, ship that uh, Dimash wanted me to see. So let's have a better look at this. Let's go and have a negotiation. Here we go. So make an offer on a life form ship. And that's it. That is the Owl of Dreams. So it looks just like my Anvil of Destiny. It's got a lot more metal on it. I like the little touches of orange, like the little orange hat that the droids got. That is actually really quite cool. I'm not a fan though, I have to say of the top fin. I don't really like that top fin. You see, there's my Anvil of Destiny. My Anvil of Destiny, I think, looks nicer. Sometimes less is more. I don't know. What do you like the most? Do you like the Anvil of Destiny or do you like the Owl of Dreams? So the Owl of Dreams, I quite like the orange hood plate. And I like the orange sort of details and the orange little hat on the droid. It's quite cute. I like the gunmetal grey for the actual barrel but I, I'm not keen on this top fin. And also the engines at the back, it's got like the three thrusters. And to be honest, I prefer these. When these light up, they look awesome, you know? So I think mine, I, I think I like mine the most. And yeah, Beeble said, I mean, no, Kibble said, yeah, top fins are gross. I kind of agree, I agree there. Ali Canali, 07 Captain Steve. I've now seen PS5 going for £1,000 on eBay. That is men mental. Usually the fin on a ship is a deal breaker for me. Yeah, it's almost like having a spoiler on a car. On some cars they look great. And I'm sure that top fin would look great on other ships. But on an Anvil of Destiny, I don't think it kind of works. It just looks, it just doesn't look right. I mean, let's look at it front on. No, it just doesn't. It just doesn't fit. It just doesn't sit right. I don't think it does anyway. There we go. Cyber Zero says, "Yo, yo, yo, Captain." Well, hello there, Cyber Zero. I think I've now got this working okay, and I'm, I can kind of deal with this when I've got my laptop open. But you can see how quick these flash up and then go. It it doesn't give you a chance to really grab on and read them. I'm I'm hoping they make a stationary one like they did before and it just chunked and moves up slowly. I could deal with that. I can't deal with this. This is too fast. But there we go. Um, what's your opinion for the squid ships? 
Um, the squid ships I'm not overly into, to be honest. They almost look like they should be flying in the opposite direction. They just look wrong the way that they fly. I love the ships with the solar panels, rays and fins, like more realistic. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like all the expi exposed piping, but you wouldn't really want to fly this into the atmosphere of a planet, would you, with these pipes getting hot? You would imagine something is going to snap off or blow up or something. But I put up a video the other day of actual space dudes giving their opinion on No Man's Sky. It's actually a really good little video, and it's quite interesting to see what they're saying about inertia and the engines and all that sort of stuff. It's proper geeky shit. I mean, if, if, if you were into geeky shizzle, check it out. It's on my, um, on my Twitter feed. Have a look there. Pretty awesome. Okay, brilliant. Your thunder says Cyber Zero. Did a ship just land on my head? Did that just happen? Yes, it did. It was, a, it was one of those hours of dreams. Yeah, you must have heard me saying that I don't like you as much as the Andrew of Destiny and decided to take out one of my limbs. Oh, look at this! We've got a whole freaking fleet of them. Right, that's, that's, that's a photo op opportunity right there. Okay, now this is something that's also broken. Okay, so say if I want to take a picture of all of these. I want to get rid of that menu bar at the bottom. So to take a photo, I've got to press this little button here on my joypad. The bar's gone now. If I press this little button, as soon as I press that little button, and go to take this the actual screenshot. I take the screenshot. I don't know whether you guys are going to see this, but you see there, the bar's there. I can't get rid of that bar. It it just reappears. As soon as you press the take photo button, it puts the bar back on the screen. You, I can't take a photo for love nor money. <laughs> it's a right pain in the neck. It really is. And that's one of I love photo mode. I love taking pictures. I can't take photos suck so I was really hoping that would be in the first round of um, of um, patches because you know uh, Sean Murray loves seeing our photos but he's, he's gonna be like why are we not seeing any PlayStation 5 photos yeah <laughs> you might want to you might want to sit down and play the game for half an hour yeah okay so there we go so, um, well that's time for me to get ready for work have a lovely rest of your day everyone well take care my ammo yeah, sorry I've used this uh, up mainly to rant about stuff, <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually on my lunch break from work, so I, I've got to wrap this up myself anyway. But all, all you guys out there, I am hoping that all these sort of like little mini niggles that I've raised do get fixed. I mean, it's, it's still such a smooth experience. It's awesome on PlayStation 5, don't get me wrong. It's just that there's a few things that weren't broke and are now broke. You know, what is it with all these large ships? The first time you see them, it's great. It's freaking hilarious. But then after a while, it, it puts you off for playing multiplayer. Just like then, I, I turned it off because I couldn't see the ships coming in. So anyway, you guys, you're awesome, and I'll see you all soon. Take care for now. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Now I've got to work out how to stop my broadcast. Let's see if I've got any quicker at this. Broadcast, there we go. Stop broadcast. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, Dan Dwarf's just joined. Hello there, Dan Dwarf. Yeah, and we've got Brian to eat pizza for breakfast is the best. I don't know. I like cornflakes and custard. Yeah, don't know what you make of that. Try it before you say anything. It's freaking amazing.